I'm Rick, and I'd like to show you a spear gun I've made. It's made out of carry pine, with a few inserts of Douglas fir. The carry had seen a previous life, and there were a few holes in it. So I filled them with matchsticks. I glued them in with epoxy, or with araldite, and then sanded them over. I just tell people it's bird's eye timber. Carry oxidizes very slowly from the outside in. It takes years to do it. So you get this graduation of tone from dark to lighter timber. It comes up nicely when you work it, I think. There's a mild cuddle in the stock, not much. I use my usual finish on it. That is, I uh, put some uh, penetrating epoxy in first, that sealed it up. Then I coated it with floor varnish after that and uh, with several sands in the process. It shoots a 7.5 millimeter Rob Allen spear with twin floppers. The floppers look evil. I don't know how well they're gonna work, but they certainly look evil. The spear comes with three wire shark ring tabs. The shooting line is 400 pound mono. And it's held by a rife style um, line keeper at the front. There's a bungee cord shock absorber at the front of the shooting line. The tail on the, uh, on the thread means that you can shorten it or lengthen it, adjust it later on if something happens to stretch the cord. Just tuck it away there just to keep it a bit neater. The spear is thrown by two 14 millimeter rubbers at about uh, 3.5 to one stretch. The thicker starter motor cord bridles work well with the shark fin tabs and they last. The spear is held in the gun by a Neptronics reef mech. I use my normal six gun style handle. The uh, center spine of that six gun handle is made out of carry pine too, but it's Douglas fir on the side. There's sawdust anti-slip put on the side of the handles and also on the butt to prevent some of those nasty sort of slippage accidents that could happen during loading. The carry is a pretty light timber and it needed a fair bit of ballast to bring it back to neutral. This is lead shot embedded in ep epoxy. I wanted the gun to be pretty light and manoeuvrable, so I didn't want to make too much mass in it. I'm thinking this is going to be a good knockabout gun for Victoria in the, in the ocean. It should be agile enough just to uh, take a snapper, I'd say, but have enough grunt and be heavy enough to take a kingfish should one come by. Maybe even a school tuner. It's my usual practice to give a spear gun a name. And this one looks so neat and clean. I couldn't help but call it Mr. Clean. I hope you like it.